Example 1. Let us find the common monomial factor of 3x cubed y squared plus 6xy cubed minus 9x squared y squared and rewrite this in factored form. Step 1, find the GCF of the numerical coefficients. So, meron tayo ritong tatlong terms at ang numerical coefficients natin ay 3, 6, at 9. So, ano ba ang greatest common factor ng 3, 6, at 9? So, ang 3, 6, at 9 ay may GCF na 3. Next, tingnan kung ano-anong parehong variable sa bawat term. So, ang bawat term natin ay mayroong x at saka y. So, dahil may x at y sila, piliin mo yung uh, variable na may pinakamababang exponent. So, sa x, ano yung may pinakamababang exponents? So, nasa second term siya, which is x. At sa y naman, ay ang may pinakamababang exponent ay y square. So, we have the first term at saka yung third term na may y square. So, that's it. We have the common monomial factor, 3xy square. Ngayon, paano natin ito isusulat into factored form? 3xy square. So, to write this algebraic expression in factored form, i-divide natin ang bawat term sa common monomial factor. So, this algebraic expression is equal to 3xy square times Divide natin ang 3x cubed y squared sa, term, sa common monomial factor na ito. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Hindi na natin isusulat. x cubed divided by x is x squared. y squared divided by y squared is simply 1. Next, plus 6 divided by 3, 2. x divided by x is 1. y cubed divided by y squared is y. And the third term, negative 9 divided by 3, so negative 3. x squared divided by x is x. And y squared divided by y squared is y. Sorry, 1. And we have this factored form 3xy squared times the quantity x squared plus 2y minus 3x. Kapag na-multiply natin ang dalawang factors na ito, babalik tayo sa algebraic expression na ito. Example 2. Let us find the common monomial factor of a b cube c to the fourth minus 8a square b to the fourth c cube plus 2a b to the fifth and rewrite this in factored form. So to find the common monomial factor, unang step natin find the GCF of the numerical coefficients. So sa unang term, ang numerical coefficient natin ay 1, dito ay 8, at saka 2. Ngayon, ano ang, com ang GCF ng 1? 8 at saka 2. Okay, so simply 1. So hindi na natin siya isusulat. Next, tingnan kung ano-anong variables ang pareho sa bawat term. So ang bawat term ay may common na A at saka B lamang. Kasi ang ating third term ay walang C. Okay, so ang titingnan lang natin ay A at saka B. So piliin ang may pinakamababang exponent. Sa A, nasa First term siya at saka third term, simply A. Next, ang B naman ay we have B to the B cube, B to the fourth, and B to the fifth. So, ang pinakamababang exponent ay B cube. So, A, B, cube. So, ito na agad ang ating common monomial factor dahil wala namang C ang third term. Okay? So, A, B cube is the common monomial factor and to rewrite this in factored form, we have a, b cube. I-divide lang natin ang bawat term ng algebraic expression dito sa common monomial factor. So, a divided by a, cancel na siya. b cube divide b cube, cancel. So, ang matitira ay c to the port times the quantity c to the port minus 8. 8 divided by 1, simply 8. a squared divided by a is a. b to the port divide b cube is B, and then copy C cube plus the last term, 2 divided by 1 is 2. A divided by A, cancel. And then B to the fifth divided B cube is B square. So we have this factored form, A B cube times the quantity C to the fourth minus 8 A B cube plus 2 B square. At kapag na-multiply natin ang factors na ito, babalik tayo sa ating algebraic expression. So, itong AB cube ay ang ating common monomial factor.